Guyana Mining and Training Center Incorporated in collaboration with the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission and the Ministry of Natural Resources today hosted a mine operations and orientation course for persons with interest in the sector. The event was held at the Girls Guide Pavilion in the capital city. The mine operations and orientation course was planned and executed for persons who needed a better understanding of mining in Ghana for those who are desirous of making the sector their career path. Those persons already in the industry were not excluded as topics such as prospecting, environmental management, mine excavation, mine safety and mineral processing were explored. Minister of Natural Resources, the Honorable Raphael Trotman, who delivered the feature address, said he was pleased to see many youthful participants and women especially. I'm particularly pleased this morning to see many first-time miners and more importantly I'm happy to see the number of women who are here this morning. I think it is a tribute uh, not only to you for the strong and deliberate steps you've taken to get into what is known to be a male preserve mining in the hinterland. Minister Trotman says this change signals a good transformation and evolution of the sector. In the meantime, contrary to talks that mining might be on the decline, Minister Trotman revealed that since 2015, Ghana's gold declaration amounted to approximately 3.8 billion in mining revenues. Mining is here to stay. Mining is a part of the socio-economic mosaic of Guyana, and mining has been proven to be a good and sustainable and wholesome industry once done properly. Since 2015 to today's date, we have declared Officially, that is over 3.6 million ounces of gold in Guyana. That tells you that mining is not in trouble. And some may want to tell you that the mining industry is in chaos and crisis. It is not. It has brought in close to 3.8 billion US dollars in revenue. Mining is a very healthy place. Felicia Valenzuela, InfoHub.